Icons are a really important part of any design system. We use them for a variety of things like forms, navigation, buttons. They are used almost everywhere. Now there are a couple of Figma plugins that you can use. And the main one I like to use is Iconify. I also like to use the Material Design plugin, which is really great. I've used it through some lessons and let's use it today to kind of put something together. So let me show you how it works. So let's open our plugins. Let's go into something like Iconify. And this is our plugin here. And now you'll notice that there's different things we can do. We can like actually search by sets. So we have like Google material icons, we have unicons, we have all these different types of icons that we could use, which is really great. You can search something up over here. So if like I search for something like home and press enter, I can filter by an icon set or I can see all of them and go through different of like a variety of icons here. I typically use this just to grab icons very quickly. So if I need to like fill in a wireframe with some iconography or if I'm just kind of testing out some concepts, this is what I'll do. I'll just kind of grab this like that. And here I can kind of just set anything I'd like to set. I would import the icon. And there we go. I can update the frame copy. I can work with the vector. I can name it whatever I want. Let's go through a little demo on how to kind of fill in a navigation and how to do that pretty easily with something like Iconify. I'm going to actually just create a new frame, click F. Ooh. Actually, let's create a mobile frame. So we're gonna click F and we're gonna just pick the iPhone again. And what we'll do is we will create another frame and we'll just sticky that to the bottom. So we don't need to really worry too much about our sizing right now at least. I just want to focus on getting some icons in here. And we can actually create a grid in here. So we'll do that. We'll create a grid instead of there. Well, we're actually going to set up uh, some columns. So we're going to pick four icons. So we'll set up four columns for those icons to sit within. And we'll create a gutter of uh, 16 pixels. I like using 16 on mobile. And for a margin, I like to use 16 or 24. So we'll just do that and there we go. We can also make this nav really nice if we want. We can create a nice drop shadow behind it. Set that blur to something like 30. Negative 10 and let's fill this. That's a little too harsh for a drop shadow, but let's a little bit more subtle. So we can toggle our grids with uh, control G just like that. So I'm just toggling on and off. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start thinking about what type of icons I want here. So if I'm thinking about a client habitual, I'm thinking about maybe I need like a home screen. So, well, first of all, what I really want to do is I want to make sure that I'm picking from a certain icon set. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. And we can actually just select like material design icons. And if I search up just based off of that, here, let's select it. I search for home and there we go. You can tell everything's part of the same family here. They even have rounded options as well. Let's just grab this icon and we can drag it into there. So we got 24 by 24 pixel frame. We got uh, the home icon that sits within. Let's think of another option we could have. We could have a heart. So we can, for like a wish list section. So there we go. We have our heart. Ooh, let's not move that outside of the frame. Let's keep that frame. It's going to help us. Maybe another option is something like orders. Oh, they don't have orders. We can kind of do something like this, like a list. I like that. That'll work for now. There we go. And the last one we can do is settings. So maybe a gear. Yeah, that's going to work. Okay, let's close this. Now we have our icons. That's awesome. And we're going to drag them within that navigation frame. So let's rename this 
to navigation. Remember to always kind of name your frames, keep track of them. Things can get really messy, really easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this in the middle. I'll place this one in the middle. You see how they're kind of snapping together. They're equal in terms of their horizontal and vertical positioning. We can kind of go in there and just fix that a bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually have some text as well. So that could also help in navigation, just pairing an icon with some text. That's a little too big. We'll use something like 12 or even 10. It doesn't need to be too big. Great, I like that. We're just gonna copy that over. Remember to set your constraints to left and right. So if we do happen to resize this, it'll stick with your actual columns. So let's do that over here as well. We'll call this one wish list. We got some variation over here in the column sizing. Uh, we'll call this one orders. And this one, we are going to call settings. Great. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that these are just a little bit above the text. And if we actually select them all and we wanna align them on the same horizontal grid, or horizontal line, we'll just go up here, and that's perfect. So let's center these to make sure that they are actually centered. Boom, center to the text. We can actually turn off that grid now, I think. And there we go, we have our own little navigation, and we can turn the overall opacity through the pass through over here on this layer. So we can turn them down to like something like 20. And so we can see that our home is active. Now what we wanna do here is we wanna set this to center and center. These icons will all be set to center and center. So if we do somehow wanna make this like responsive and we wanna scale and not have to worry about these icons, we won't have to. So let's zoom in here and I'll show you what I mean. Oops, the overall frame, I forgot about that. That's the most important. There we go. And you can see that they're not scaling, but they are staying centered to their own columns. So if we turn that, those columns on, you can see that they're gonna stay within them. We won't necessarily do this on mobile, a bunch at least, but uh, this is just a helpful tip for when you're actually working with your layers. If you don't want to use a plugin like that, you can actually go to the Material Design uh, website and use their actual website to download those plugins. Like you'll just have much more control. You'll be able to select based off if you want it to be outlined, if you want it to be rounded. You can do all of that. If you do really like Google Material icons and you don't want to go through Iconify, there's actually a plugin for that. This right here, Material Design icons. And here you have all the icons in every which uh, style and you can use these to really help you pick just based off of like material design icons. And it's the same kind of concept. So you just select your icon and it'll drop it immediately into your Figma file. And that's it for putting together a quick navigation with some plugins.